Hi, I'm Daniel Smith, Southwest Regional Agronomist for the Nutrient and Pest Management Program. Today we're out here at Tony's Farm chatting about planting green. Well, uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, I'm Tony Pyrick. I'm a partner with my brother here, Ralph, and our sons and families are involved in our farm. It's TNR Dairy Farm here in Watertown, Wisconsin. Uh, we've been planting no-till and covers for quite a long time. And also, I'm also the chairman of Dodge County Farmers Healthy Soil, Healthy Water Group. So today I'm going to talk to you about what we got set up on the planter here, going into planting green and planting in the no-till conditions. So but with our planter here, uh, we're using the, uh, this is a new planter we got this year. We're using the Yetter row cleaners that are adjustable up and down from the cab. Uh, we do have some PTT blades on it this year. I had some, we're back and forth with them. I got a test against the other ones. These are the precision technology blades that we're using on some of the rows. I'm gonna check that out this year again. Uh, we got this, the high-speed planter with the brush delivery. We do have on this one, we tried some of the Martin Till cast closing versus the disc. We're doing a little testing with that. This is the Martin system closing. This is a, you, basically you can use the standard John Deere row units. You just bolt the closing wheel onto it and change your tires versus uh, you put the either closing disc or this is a cast crusher. So, and then you add the wheel on back. It's supposed to get better uh, a little better uh, closing and compaction over the row. So, and we do put our fertilizer out the back. Our two by two goes on out the back over the top of it. So it's been working out real good for us so far. We didn't want to do any more disturbance up front than we had to with uh, placing our two by two. So we're trying the, out the back. It seems to work this year versus then trying to put another injection system on it. So it has worked out real good for us. We had no trouble with it going through planting green, planting through a lot of different covers this year and there was no wrapping, no problems. So the main thing, there's so much stuff out there on the market you can do and you can buy for your own planter. You can have an older planter, any planter. It's just a matter of setting it up properly, having your row cleaners available, uh, and different types of closing system. Everybody's got different closing systems. They all work. It's whatever works for you and your service and your dealer that can help supply you with the, with the products you need. Tony, you have a, a very well-built planter based on your years of experience cover cropping. Mm -hmm. Somebody just starting out, what would you recommend is a must-have on their planter? Uh, the must-have, because uh, we do have a, one in our group, these little smaller farm, we took a four-row, 7,000. Uh, he did get some row cleaners there on the market for that. You can have them right away. And basically, just keep your, your disc openers in good shape, new. And with the insecticide boxes, he adds weight on back. He puts lime in the back to get the extra down pressure. We have hydraulic down pressure on this one. But uh, just get the extra weight on your planter. And you can play around with your different closing units in back. But basically, you don't have to have these newer planters to do all this. You can take an existing planter, because it was a 7,000 deer planter, and he's been planting no-till with it real easy. You'll have to go slow and make sure you get penetration and get it in the ground. But the main thing is getting the seed in the ground. So many people, when they do go planting green and planting this residue, they're not getting the seed down deep enough. Because we do have that root system with cereal rye on the surface, and that can take up some moisture and keep it a little drier on top, but you gotta get it down deeper. So you get it down two, two and a half, three inches, you'll be down in the moisture. And then once everything keeps going, it'll really take off. But the main thing with that is getting the seed in the ground. You have to get it down over two inches with this covers and no-till. And most planters can do it. Keep a nice sharp closing disc or the opener disc and put some extra weight in the insecticide boxes or weight it down wherever you have or turn up your springs all the way. When you go out to a field, Tony, how often are you getting out of the cab to check that seed depth? Uh, my son does all the planting out this year, but he does quite regularly. You need a four-inch spatula and a measuring thing. Because the, the, the spatula, you can dig down and pull across, and you can pull the whole dirt back at four inches. And you can get to the seed, then you take your measuring, your little tool everybody gives you, and measure your seed depth. It's very important. You, every field conditions are going to be different. So you do want to keep up on that. Make sure you are getting it in the depth. You know, a lot of people aren't checking it. I heard one guy say, he didn't check it on the field, only got it in an inch and a half. And now I said, well, once, it's, once you've got it planted, you can't go back and put it in deeper. So very important to check your fields, check the conditions, and make sure you have the seed in the ground. That's, a, cool. that's a great tip, Tony. Starter fertilizer program. Our starter is uh, two by two out the side. We don't do any in furrow, because uh, we just put it all in the back. It's a 721.3 molasses starter from Midwest BioAg, and then we use a 28 with uh, thiosol at 15 gallons. Five gallons of the molasses and 15 gallons of the 28 with thiosol, some thiosol in, and then we out the back, and then we'll follow through with the extra nitrogen at side dressing. 
So that's our program. I've been using the uh, molasses starter from uh, Midwest Bioag for about six, seven years now, and it seemed to do, uh, you know, you want to feed the microbes in the soil. That's the main thing of the sugars and the, and the molasses and that. Nobody understands a lot of this, what we're getting involved with, but you need to feed your, your biology in your soil, and that's pretty important. And some of the, the sugars are really good for biology in the soil. They really love that, so. Great, well, thanks, Tony. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? No, you know, anybody can do it. If this our other farmer in our group can do it with a four row 7,000, you can no-till and you can plant in the covers. So it's just a matter of keeping an eye on everything and make sure it's in the ground. The main thing is getting your depth in the ground. Great, thanks for okay, taking thanks. some time to okay. chat with us today. Yeah, thanks, Dan.